welcome back to Mojo's Money. My name is Lacey and on Mojo's Money we talk about cash stuffing, budgeting, sinking funds, paying down my mortgage, and savings challenges. And today what we have is the cash for our sinking funds binders for the second paycheck of May 2023. Yay! So what we need to do is first clear these guys off and talk about our spreadsheet. Oh, you know what? Also, I'm gonna go take my watch off and charge it while we're filming. And let's zoom in so you can see. Okay, up here you can see I actually have more money this time, yay, to play with on my sinking fund. So $315 available to us today. We had more, yay, going to our emergency fund, $100. That's going to be in my 80 envelope challenge in my next video. Then we have, let's see, of note on here, veterinary still getting zero because it's fully funded. These are the envelopes that I'm stuffing for my 80 envelope challenge. I scratched off a four, oh, yeah, you can still see that. I scratched off a four on my Bigfoot scratch off for tires, so that's what that's getting. The 25 for clothing is because that's what was next on that challenge, and the nine for electronics is because that's what was next on that challenge. Here I have my cash breakdown. And the bottom of note on here I wrote plumber because <laughs> If you'll notice, there's $175 missing from here because we had to call a plumber because we had a clogged drain line. They had to get up on top of our house and run a very long dragon snake down through our pipes and unclog my drain. So fun. And then I highlighted this little row because it's fully funded. And that should be everything of note on here. No other money in any funds got used. So let's zoom back out. All right, now we'll move our spreadsheet out of the way. Get our binders. Let's start with our high priority binder. And we are gonna start with new car. New car has got $15 coming its way. All right, if you watched my recent video, I did a Tracker reset, so these are all crisp and clean. So 10, ew, what is on that? I don't, I don't wanna know. 10 and 15, <laughs> thanks bank. So we're gonna sort quick, real quick. <laughs> And we'll count it up now that we've added our $15. Now we have 500, 600, 700, 800, woo, 800 in the bank. 8, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. $842 now in the new car fund. Here's my pin. There we go, and we can't color that in until we get three, 1300 something, so we'll wait on that. Next is the Orlando Trip Fund, which is getting 10, so that Nigel can get one of his nuts. <laughs> so let's add our 10. And now we have 500, 550, 70, 80, 90, 600, 601. $601 in this fund now. Today is the 16th. And we will give one of these stickers to Nigel. There we go. His stash is filling up. Moving along, the certification exam envelopes getting its usual $25. Here's 20 and five. which means we have 100, 200 in the bank, 
to 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 260 dollars. And we need to get our yellow marker and our calculator. Our calculate calculator. <laughs> okay, so 260 divided by 17 for each sun means we should have 15 suns. So we need to color one, two more suns, and that'll be 15. All right. Oh, you know what that means? That means we are halfway done with that challenge. Woo! And we're not halfway done with the year yet, so I will have this all ready. At the very least, I can buy the study materials. I guess I might not get certified this year, but at least I can do the CEUs for it. Then the remodeling fund. Remodel is only getting $7 today. Wah, wah, wah. We just have a lot of things going on with our priorities. I know this was a really big priority at the beginning of the year, and then just as things, you know, life be happening, it's just, then we decided to go on this trip, which, I mean, I guess it kind of makes me sound wimpy, but I really needed something to, like, plan and look be looking forward to, and I'm just so excited about it. Okay, now that we've had our $7, we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 in the bank. 9, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 957. Ooh, ooh, and we're trying to get back up to 1,050 before we can color any more uh, of the little hammers. I had to take some money out of this. That's why it's been colored previously. Because we had started our remodel and done some things. And done some other things with the house. Like I think our TV went out or something and I used money from this a long time ago, if you'll remember. Anyways, moving along. We got the Christmas fund. Christmas fund is getting its usual $75. $50, $70, and Five. If there's any envelope I've stuffed the most aggressively this year, it's definitely been Christmas, just because it's time sensitive. Whether I finish some of the other ones or not, meh, okay. But if I finish this one, that's it's necessary to be done on time. Not necessary for life. Like if there was a true emergency, the Christmas fun's going away. But you know what I mean. If I'm doing okay, Christmas comes every year, so let's plan. So now we added our $75. Let's count and see what we have. We have 500, 600 in the bank, 650, 700, 720, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. 775 dollars in the Christmas fund. I'll send some of that to the bank when when I do my bill exchange soon. So each of these is 38. So let's see. We have 775 divided by 38 for each tree. 20 trees should be colored. So there's 18 trees colored now. We need to color two more. You guys, that means we're also halfway done with this challenge. Yay! Great. We are on track to be, it's been five months, so we're on track to be done with this by the end of October. Which will be perfect because of all the Christmas deals that start in November and Black Friday and whatnot. My goal for that this year was 1500 I think I did 1000 last year, and it wasn't quite enough to cover everything. So... For what I wanted to do. I, I scaled back some for sure. But. Alrighty, the mortgage extra principal prepayment is getting $35 today. 20, 30, and 5. Let's add it to your pile here. 
this I'm going to be paying at the end of June for the end of quarter two of the year. So now we have 50, 100, 120, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 175. I just got notification that my mortgage payments will be going down because my property taxes are going down or something like that. There was something going on in my state that was affecting my property taxes and my escrow account, so that's pretty cool. Veterinary is fully funded for each of my cats to have their yearly shots this summer because it costs $50 each. I have three cats. There's $150 in there. So now we have something very exciting to talk about. Aside from my cash, also in my bank account, I have $100 that was extra that I was able to squeeze out of my budget that's going to go in here to my cruise fund. Woo! So let us just tuck this in here. I'm not actually stuffing any cash cash, so we're just going to tuck that in there, and it's going to represent $100 that are in the bank that I will be transferring to my savings account so that I didn't have to pull out a hundred and then put a hundred back and we'll put a little sticker on there. I have these little stickers. Let's do blue since that suitcase is blue. This is just something that I made as a on Canva. If you wanted it, tell me and um, we can get in touch and I could send you um, the PNG file if you wanted. It was just free. Like I, I just used their little clip arts and typed that in, so it was not difficult. But yay! Okay, one down, 26 to go. <laughs> Feels like a lot when you say it that way, doesn't it? All right, and that's it for this binder. Let's move along to our medium priority binder. My low priority envelopes are um, usually stuffed at the when I do my game day. So first of all, we got our investment category getting $5 today. I recently redid these trackers too, so they are nice and clean. Oh yeah, very clean. <laughs> I like looking at them. So we're adding five bucks today to investment property. What this means, I don't know, but we'll find out eventually. So we have 100 and 200 in a high yield savings account. We have now, okay, let's see. Yeah, ooh, getting off. 100, 200, we'll start over. 50, 60, 65, and 70. $270. Okay, my black marker. Okay, and then furniture is only getting a dollar today. Some of my very low priority situations, like I don't really need new furniture right now, but it's good to just have some on the standby to save up. Look at that. Anyways, to save up slowly for whenever you do need some. 20, 30, 35, 36, 37 is what's in the furniture envelope right now. And then home security is getting a dollar. That's two. <laughs> Just one. So now we're at 50, 70, 71, 72. Now washer dryer. The washer dryer fund is also only getting a dollar. Some of it's a little bit of a boring stuffing in these envelopes, but you only can only do what you can do. We have 100, 101, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 105. And then I have this little guy back here. When I get to 34, I can 134, I can color that in. On the second washer so not quite there yet but hey hey some money will be in here if I ever do need one 
Now, electronics, I have started this little Jessie C. Envelopes challenge, and I've done a $1 last week, and today we're doing $9. Because this one is really low. Oh, I keep forgetting on here. This is incorrect. I don't know what is going on with that, but it is very incorrect. Because there's only $1 in there. We're adding 9 so it should only be a 10 Let me write that down. There. I will try to remember to update that. So we're adding 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there should be 10 here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Awesome. $10 in electronics now, which it had only $1, and that's a big leap, so yay. Oh no, this rubbed off. Let me correct this. It must have not been 100% dry when I put it back in the envelope after doing my reset. And now we need to color this in. It's using my pink one since it's closest to the little red. Okay, one down, then I will add the 13 next time. Now the RV fund, since it's also low priority, is only getting a dollar. Which should bring us up to 50, let's see. 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, it does, awesome. So I can bill exchange this for a 50 when I do that. Now going to electric bikes is also getting a dollar. And this should put us at 50 for this one as well. Oh, dropping money. Let's count them out. 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Awesome. Okay, now we're going back to clothing which is getting quite a bit. It's getting 25 since that was the next circle on this $1,000 savings challenge freebie from Jordan Budgets. Twenty and five. So that should put us at 100, 150, 70, 90, 95, 200, 201, 202. Awesome. So we're at $200 in this fund. Now let's color in that 25 circle there. Woohoo! And that means next time we can add the 15 here. And so last time I scratched off this four for the tires fund, which I think next month I'm gonna have to use this for headlights because my headlights, someone told me just, just do it, just replace it, it's worth it, and I think they're right. So here's four dollars, it's going in here. Let's count it up. We have 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61 dollars in the tires fund. Yay! And now the fun part, we get to scratch for next time. So let's move that a little bit over so you can see this a little better, hopefully. And I will need a dice, a die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, I have a seven-sided one in here somewhere. Yeah, I think, oh, dang it, no, this is an eight. It'll work in a pinch, though. 
Here's a five sided die. Some of these are so funny. Here's a four. <laughs> I'm just looking for all the ones with the weird shapes. We've got 16 sided, 12. Okay, come on. Here it is. Okay, here's my seven sided die. So strange. It's because it's, the numbers are written on the curves rather than the straightaways. I've got my trusty scratching quarter. So let's roll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which one are we scratching off next to try to hide and seek with Bigfoot? If I find Bigfoot, he's worth $20. Five, okay, one, two, three, four, five. This guy's getting scratched off. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's not Bigfoot, it's the number seven. Oh man, so you scratched off four and still haven't found him. We will try again next time. Put my die away. And I will write on my little spreadsheet that we need to do seven next time for this. Okay, you guys, that's all of my cash stuffing. You still see some cash over here. What's crazy is I think I'm missing a 20. Hmm. I will investigate this further. I might've put too much in my wallet for the week, but everyone, thank you so, so very much for joining me. Let's talk about the question of the day. How about, since I have to replace my car headlights, what's the last thing you had to replace on your car? Tell me about it <laughs> in the comment section below. And I would ask, was it expensive? But the answer is always yes when it comes to cars. So, okay, everyone, you have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to, to like the video. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel and check out my Amazon affiliate links below for the products that I've used in this video today. Have a good one. Bye.